Hello friends, my name is Kyle, Real Revelations Everywhere. I don't know if you have noticed the date on this video and the one that I made right before this, but it has been quite a while for me. A lot has happened in the time between. Couldn't tell you how many days it's been, but been somewhere around a year and a half and that was a uh, extremely important year and a half in my life after I made the first set of videos that I consider the foundational content the foundation of this channel the foundational ideas of what makes a foundation worth standing on and building on and that was an extremely emotional thing for me it was a metaphorical dam breaking with inside of me it was uh it was a lot to deal with but it was a lot to deal with in the best way possible it is exactly what I needed to do. It's the start of all of this. It's the start of hopefully just being able to help as many people as I can. It's all that matters. It's all that I care about anymore. That's all there is left. It's just self-improvement and all of the things that I've done to be as effective as I am, which I Hope to be able to show you firsthand. I know uh, I'll be the first one to say that words don't mean anything if you're not going to show someone what you mean. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you feel. If you don't show anyone why that matters, it doesn't. And if I didn't follow up and continue this channel, then what have I done to help anybody? You know, I can't say those things and be the biggest hypocrite I could possibly manage to be. It's unacceptable. It really is. It's hypocrisy and narcissism. I can't. I thought, yeah, I can't. I cannot. It's unacceptable. And when I tell you all, all of these things, the reason I feel the need to say it in the first place is because of how effective it has been for me. In every single facet of my life, I really cannot understate that. This stuff translates to everything it's the basis of being the most effective version of yourself and it all starts with telling yourself the truth and uh not an easy or simple thing to find out that you haven't been i know you I'm sure you would like to think that you have been that other people haven't been lying to you either but that is simply unavoidable and oftentimes not malicious. There's a lot of conditioning that goes into being fit for survival these days. What that actually means and how many different ways we just get battered and abused by the ridiculous circumstances that we find ourselves in. But you never stop learning, you never stop growing, you never stop evolving, you never stop changing for the better or the worse. A lot of people like to think that people never change, but that's just, that is a sign of many things. If you think someone hasn't changed, 
I think, first off, you're probably assuming way too much. But at the same time, if it feels like someone hasn't changed in a long time, I would contribute that to an extreme change a long time ago. That has uh, forced them into a position of survival that is extremely detrimental to their personal ability to grow or feel like that's even an option in the first place. A lot of people don't feel like that's an option, I'm sure. This doesn't feel possible, but it absolutely is. But, you know, like anything, like everyone else loves saying, it is absolutely the truth that it is a mindset over anything. It really is. That's easy to say, though. What is your mindset? What does that mean? How do you challenge yourself to change? How do you call yourself out when your mindset doesn't align with the direction you would like to be facing? How do you handle adversity as your mindset shifts? It's extremely difficult. That's not a normal question for anyone. That's not just an easily conceivable distinction of well, these were always all lies, and I see that now, and this is the truth now. And now I know the truth. It's not. It's small steps. It's taking all the little tiny grains of sand and counting them and figuring out where they came from and why are they in the bottom of your shoe rattling around? How long have they been there? Where did they come from? It's tiny specks of dust that have built up on the lens of your mind and you know when you're five that lens might already have a few scratches on it that lens might just be cracked in half or a million pieces but hopefully there was a very good chance that your lens was pretty clear and I'm sure you have uh, weathered a few storms since then. Since you were who you used to be. And uh, before you know it, you got about five inches of layered dust that has built up. And that thick, thick layer is just turned into a paste that is drowning your lens in shit that just has stuck to you over time. And uh, all that dust isn't going to be wiped away in one swipe, I'll tell you that much. Now it is uh, it's hardened over time. <laughs> it's become this concrete shield this shell around you that you use to protect yourself in your mind but uh you don't realize at the same time that that is how you're suffocating that's the number one way you never realize that you've been suffocating your entire life just thinking about that metaphor it ugh. <laughs> yes, man. It's one of the biggest lessons that I have just I, that I didn't that I received that was thrust upon the side of my head. It finally, really, really knocked me down. It's one of the biggest lessons that I learned is I really did not realize how deep the hole was that I had been digging for myself. And it was a long time that I was digging. I was digging hard and I was digging fast. And you don't realize
Sometimes it's just you're it's you almost feel lucky when you wake up at the bottom of the hole. A lot of people don't. That's a tough thing to realize. It's like you feel the dirt falling in on you. you better stand up quick. Because once that side starts caving in, it becomes that much more difficult. And the dirt doesn't stop. And the storm comes. And the last one buries you. It's unacceptable. You can't let it get that far. That is what I know. And it's, it is every layer. It's your mind, it's your body, it's your emotions. All of it comes together. It really is. If you let one part down, the rest crumbles so much faster. very hard thing to realize but once you do and you take it to heart it's the kind of feeling that you need to break out of that the measurable amount of pressure and stress you don't even know how much you can handle until you really until you can't. That's what it is. Once you've reached that point, everything is different. Everything. What you need to do for yourself and the people that you love. You just have to keep going. Because it always gets better when you make it better. But there it is. If you can't feel it, the need to make it better. not going to change if you don't need it it ain't going to happen I tell you that right now One of the biggest lessons that I learned this past year is just how quickly it comes over you. It's always just keep working, keep working, keep working. But the balance required to maintain and sustain, to be consistent, you can't. You can't just bury yourself. You got to you got to figure out the balance. There has to be love in the passion. Hate is a quick burning inefficient fuel for any type of passion and I say any type of passion. It is fueled by hate. That's not the passion that drives people to be better even if you feel like you are excelling in a way that really feels helpful and consistent if it's not for the right reasons you're gonna come up short you are going to come up short you're not even gonna realize that you never even got close you not even close to what is really out there what is actually possible is unimaginable until you put yourself in a position to capitalize on something real and it's not you know 
not the fucking car on the poster. It's not the fucking... All the fantasies of whatever you could come up with as a child, whatever superhero you dreamed of becoming. That stuff is not necessary. Not saying it's not nice, not saying it wouldn't be a cool thing to have. But if you don't get it for the right reasons, if you don't earn it the right way, if it's not something that you genuinely appreciate why and how you have it. It's just shit. Just shit. It's just a bunch of shit. You don't need it. It's just a bunch of shit. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything for you. If you don't know why you have what you have, if you don't understand why you do what you do and who you're doing it for, it doesn't fucking matter. It is that simple. If you're not keeping yourself up for as long as possible to do the most that you can for everyone that you love, starting with yourself, it doesn't matter. Not at all. Not even a little. You could go without that shit for the rest of your life. And once you realize that, it just doesn't even cross your mind. It doesn't cross your mind anymore. I haven't owned a car in five years now. Couldn't be happier. Couldn't be less lazy. Could not appreciate what I do for myself more. Me being the reason that I get around is so important. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Covers all the bases. Not chugging exhaust. Not road raging. But at the same time, it's not easy because I don't want it to be. I walk miles a day, every day. I ride my bike miles a day. I go far on that thing. And I ride in a terrain that is not flat. I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of different ways you could qualify all of the hills around here. But leading up to the Rocky Mountains, there is nothing that is flat. Not for long. I'm not riding up and down the mountains, but I'll tell you right now, it ain't flat. But that means a lot to me. That's on purpose. It's every day. I don't get to get away from it. When I go outside, I deal with the weather that is out there. But I still have to do what I have to do. That stuff doesn't get to slow you down. That mentality of Oh, God. Well, uh, it's, uh, you know, I don't want to fucking deal with that. That's probably just not. No, I just, no, it's, uh, well, this or that. Well, I can just not. I can just not. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It does not work. It does not. You don't do. You cannot let all of the small things keep you from doing all of this stuff. But when all of your small decisions, are made by outside factors that you aren't willing to deal with you that's what you allow you allow you open the door to all of that stuff you allow that to occur and all the small things and that adds up and it becomes all the big things all the big decisions are made in that same way it's not how an effective mindset allows things to happen you can't control what everyone else does, but what you allow within yourself, what you do, and how you respond when all of these decisions need to be made, when you make all these small ones that way, how else are your big decisions going to be made? And then you have more time to think about all these big decisions and pile up all of these. Well, it's, I can't do it because of this and I can't do it because of that. I 
can do it because of this and I can't do it because of that. It doesn't work. You cannot allow yourself to do that to yourself. You're doing it to yourself. Your own ability to be effective. And every single time you make a small decision like that, you have to fight back. You have to recognize it and see it and say, no, that's not how this goes anymore. And it's going to try to go that way a bunch more times. And every time you put your finger on it and you say, no, 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 that's not how this happens anymore. That's not how this goes. But it's every little time. It's every time that you can. And then every time that you do it, you run through that reasoning again and again and again and again and again. And you know why. You know why. You know why. You know why. And you take it and you point it at every single time. You take it and you think about it critically. Why? And then you come up with another reason why. Why it needs to happen now. Reverse that detriment. Reverse engineer it and make it useful. Well, why, why wasn't I doing all of those things before? No more. Why not? Why now? Now? What, well, what if, if I don't do it now, what's going to happen? If I don't do it now, bad things come around. If I don't do it now. What else is there to do? If I'm not doing it now, why? When am I? When is it going to happen? It's never going to happen. It's not. It's every single time, though. You can't just feel like it. I'll be a good person when I feel like it. I'll do what I got to do. But it's so convenient. It's like, you know, well, it's probably going to be a lot easier later. It's probably, it's, it's not. You're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you are lying. You're lying to yourself. That's the worst thing that you could do. No more lying. Every time you hear a lie, mm -mm -mm -mm. grab a hold of it. Hold on. Nope. No. Where did this come from? Where did this? No. Where did, what is this? This isn't useful. This is not how this goes. Do not file that away. That doesn't get to go in the filing cabinet. That goes straight into the fucking trash. And then you stare into that trash and you fucking spit on it. And you know why you did that. Because it is hateful. What that shit is down there in the trash represents everything that you can no longer allow. And it's every day you stare into that trash can and you leave that shit in there. And you know why it's in there. You know why it's not in the filing cap. It's not helpful. It's not helpful. Get rid of it. You got all this extra weight clinging to you up here. And if it's up here, I don't doubt that it's in other places too. Emotionally and physically. It's not helpful. You don't need to hold yourself back. This is going to be plenty of stuff to do that for you. Do not do it to yourself. Bottom line, that is the essence of this channel. And if that's something you're interested in, then you need to fucking, you need to be around because this is, this is what we're going to talk about every day. It is everything. It's the mindset of being a good enough driver for everyone. In a sense that, once again, I can't keep anyone else from crashing, but I'm sure as shit not going to let them crash into me. That's not acceptable. I'm going to do everything that I can. I'm going to use every single ounce of awareness that I have in extremely difficult situations to make sure that I prevent as much as I can. That right there, anything beyond that, give it away. It's not yours. You can't hold on to it. There's not enough room. Enough room up here. You can't. 
No one can. I don't fucking care who you think you are. No one can hold on to all of it. You shouldn't be trying to. You shouldn't want to. There's no reason to. It's so unhelpful. It is such a fucking waste of time. You use so much energy thinking about all this shit that you can't control. It doesn't fucking matter. Ditch the stress. Ditch the anguish. Ditch the fucking drinking that fucking poison every day that you feed yourself. Even if it's just a little bit less than it was yesterday. Just a little bit less every day. Just a little bit less. All you gotta do is work on drinking the poison for the last time. And then once that vial runs out, you don't need it anymore. You really don't. You, it's, <laughs> once you give it up, you never think about it again. Outside of these small little chances that you get to remind yourself why you don't think about it anymore. It's like this addiction to stress and shit and just fucking driving yourself fucking crazy over every little fucking thing. You never start at zero when you wake up if you don't do that. And it's, yeah, it's, you don't find out about yourself either. It's the number one way to never figure out anything about yourself is just be a stressful ball of fucking anguish and anger and frustration and just this wrapped up little ball of grit. Who is that? That's not you. That's not you. Who are you? That's not it. I'll tell you that right now. Don't fucking lie to yourself and tell yourself that that is who you are. Not the case. Not the case. Don't lie to yourself. Gotta get rid of the noise. Gotta get rid of the noise. If you don't get rid of the noise. You're never going to be able to hear the truth. That simple. Don't drink the poison. And then, once we've established all of that, then, then, we can finally, really start getting to the fun stuff. The fun stuff. Once you have started to wipe the slate clean, once you can see that chalkboard underneath of all the fucking chalk. It's going to take a while to rinse it all away. But once you can start to see through the window, then you get to see outside. You get to see everybody playing all the fun games. You get to be an active participant in all of it. And then you fill yourself with all of that good, all of that fun, all of that challenge. And that's when we get to focus on the really fun stuff. That's when it becomes a lot. That's when it gets to be real competition. And it's... I have so much to talk about. <laughs> it's words and words and words and words of all of this, all of these videos to make. It's these... Every single one of these is, it's so many videos, but it's all the fun stuff. Once we have unwound all of the garbage that keeps you from being able to actually understand what the real shit is, like how to think about being a part of an effective team, how to think about competitiveness in a constructive way how to be a real person that can be an interesting opponent that can become someone that you look forward to playing with and against now how many i hope you've experienced going into a game or going into work or showing up to some kind of event where you are just beyond excited to just be with the people that you're going to be with. That you're 
that you know that you are going to have fun. That's so exciting. It's the it's everything. Like not experiencing that is like criminal. It really is. Like that's the, what else is like that's it is I don't know what else is more fun than that than showing up to be on an effective team. It's the best. And that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna talk about is how to do your best in that situation. The most fun you could possibly have. Appreciate y'all sticking around if you've made it this far. Obviously, this has been a, a very emotional thing for me. And I appreciate you uh, being here for it. And uh, hope we get to spend a lot of time together. Thank you.